Seattle-based Group Health Cooperative is a consumer-governed, nonprofit health care system that provides care and coverage to more than half a million residents of Washington State and Idaho. With FMCS help, Group Health Cooperative and six unions have completed negotiations for a unique health benefits program that Group Health will implement for union and non-union employees in 2010. United Food and Commercial Workers, Office and Professional Employees International Unions, Service Employees International Union, Local 1199 Northwest, Operating Engineers, Building and Construction Trades Council, all made up the coalition of unions who represent workers at Group Health Cooperative. Together, they jointly requested that FMCS assist them by providing training and facilitation during their negotiations over a new health plan. At Group Health, our most recent history was that in 2004, we actually had our negotiations fall apart over the issues of benefits, and we ended up in a strike. And so when I joined the organization in 2006, uh, one of our goals was to avoid that type of situation in the future. Our, our state of relationship with Group Health at the time was um, a little bit hard to try to get the big issues resolved. So we needed FMCS to help us move forward to get results. The thing that we found uh, working with FMCS was that they were able to educate the entire group, union, non-union um, folks, management, uh, and all the unions together about an interest-based process. So FMCS not only provided the training, but they also helped us stick to the process that we ended up with. And by sticking to the process, an interest-based process, we didn't have the breakdown that we had before when there was a strike. And at times, FMCS was able to help us move the process along. Uh, so that was a tremendous way for us to kind of resolve log jams and issues was FMCS became a facilitator, um, helping us just stick to the process, move the process along. Obviously, the negotiations were left up to the people who were doing the negotiations. But as the monitor um, and the vanguard, I guess you could say, of the process, FMCS was invaluable. In this particular case around negotiating a new health benefit for over 8,000 employees at Group Health Cooperative that were represented by uh, multiple unions, uh, the benefit of both labor and management wanting this to be a success of wanting it to be done in a collaborative manner uh, was invaluable. We, weren't, we would not have been able to achieve the results that we had unless there was a really mutual uh, value placed on us doing it in a collaborative and you know, mutually beneficial uh, process. Some of the benefits of having uh, FMCS involved in this process was uh, if any one of us felt like the process was going in a direction we weren't comfortable with, we were able to uh, caucus with uh, Beth Schindler, talk about our concerns, use her expertise to help us get back on a track that everybody felt comfortable with, or to even strategize with, because we all had specific goals that we wanted to achieve in this bargaining. I felt that this process um, of interest-based bargaining was really uh, a good tool for um, management and the union to come together and really resolve some of the issues at the um, employee versus management level. Um, they were willing to hear our concerns and efforts um, and issues and um, also gave us very positive feedback that they were willing to listen and willing to uh, explore ideas that we were presenting. The total health program being rolled out to group health employees includes a medical coverage copay structure that encourages preventive care and chronic disease management, as well as incentives for employees to participate in wellness activities that can improve their general health. More than 3,600 health nurses, medical assistants, and other union workers will be covered by the program which contains incentives and other features that can reduce health care costs over time by helping participants to manage their health appropriately.